What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. Let's start 2020 with the pronunciation lesson number six. Today, we're going to look at 10 tricky words to pronounce. Are you ready? So, let's kick off. The first word we're going to look at is a question word, how. How. The correct pronunciation is with a and not o. How not ho, how. For example, how are things, which is the same as how are you. Let's move on to our second word, which is an adjective, and it's busy, busy. The mistake here is that some people say boozy. It's not u, it's u, busy, busy. For example, I've been very busy lately. Number three, another adjective, famous, famous. Be very careful. When an adjective finishes in O-U-S, the correct pronunciation is with a schwa sound, e, s, and not us. So it's not famous, but famous, schwa, e, famous. Other adjectives, for example, nervous or enormous or gorgeous. So be careful, O-U-S is not us, but S, famous. For example, Florence is famous for its art. Let's continue with some verbs. Number four, to write, to write. The tricky thing here is that we don't pronounce the letter W, it's silent. So it's not to write, but to write, write. Exactly the same pronunciation as an adjective write. For example, on the right or my right hand. For example, I'm writing to complain about my recent stay in your hotel. Let's continue our verb number five is to damage, damage. It can be also a noun, and the British pronunciation is with a, damage, or American, damage. The common mistake is that the second vowel sound is e. So it's not damage, but damage, damage, or American, damage. For example, the storm did a lot of damage to the town. Let's continue with nouns. Number six is museum. Museum. It's commonly mispronounced. A lot of people say museum. The correct pronunciation is mu, lon u, mu, then lon z, z, and at the end is schwa. Museum. And the stress goes on the second syllable. Museum. Not museum, but museum. Museum. For example, do you like visiting museums? Let's continue with another tricky noun to pronounce, karaoke, karaoke. The British pronunciation is with a, ka, karaoke, and the American one is with e, karaoke. So be careful, it's o, the sound o, karaoke, or karaoke. For example, do you like karaoke? Let's continue, number eight is minute minute. So it's not minute as some people say, but minute. So it's a, a minute. For example, I'll be back in 20 minutes. This word can also be an adjective. The pronunciation is different. The British is minute, minute, and the American minute, minute. And it means extremely small and it's level C2. For example, when I started the marathon feeling pain in my leg, the chances of crossing the finish line were minute. Second to last word is machine. Machine. So it's not machine, but the sound sh. Machine and long E. Machine. For example, the machine needs repairing. And to finish, a super common noun but usually mispronounced. Situation. Situation. 
So there are usually two mistakes at the beginning of the word and at the end. At the beginning is not to, it's not c to, but c chu, ch, c chu. And at the end, it's not shon, it's not o, but the schwa sound, shen. So it's situation, situation. And it's not situation, situation, situation. For example, it's a very delicate situation. Delicate is an advanced adjective. The British pronunciation is deli, delicate, delicate. And the American one is delicate, delicate. So that's it for today. I hope this English bit will help you correct some pronunciation mistakes. And if you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like it, to subscribe to the channel and catch me on Instagram. And of course, Happy New Year and let 2020 bring you joy, magic moments and a lot of English practice. I will continue helping you with that every week. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching this English bit and see you next week. Ciao for now.